You know, my name is Jack LaLanne, and I'm here for one reason and one reason only, to show you how to feel better and look better so you can live longer. Please keep your dial right where it is because I want to become real good friends with you. Meet Jack Lalanne, the godfather of fitness, widely referred to as the godfather of fitness. Jack Lalanne was an American fitness and nutrition guru born in San Francisco in 1914. Despite being born several generations before the internet and television, this proved advantageous as he pioneered and invented many common components of fitness known today. 95, looking amazing, you know how what? do you feel? I can't afford it, I'll wreck my image. <laughs> it would wreck your image. There I am, just at my 95th birthday. I've been practicing 95 years, now I'm gonna start doing some living. Oh, I love that. Can you share with us, because in the book you share so many wonderful tips, but is there See, one book, motto that you live book, by? It's 12 steps to optimum, optimum health, fitness, and longevity. In this book, this is my 11th book, I get all the secrets of how to feel better, look better, so you can live longer. All about nutrition, about exercise, about all these things. This book I'm telling you, everybody should have that book. I agree. Also known as the first fitness superhero, Lala M played a crucial role in popularizing the concept of regular exercise and a healthy lifestyle in the United States. His gospel of fitness, emphasizing obeying nature's laws, spanned 75 years, changing the way Americans and the world thought about working out and eating right. Uh, I consider myself a scientific nutritionist, trying to get you to eat the proper foods for beauty and for good health. It's just that simple. We know that everything we put in this body of ours, all the food we put in this body is going to do what? It's going to make you what you are. So you put inferior foods, you're going to be having an inferior body. You put better foods, you're going to be better. Just that simple. Jack Lalanne's early years were marked by poor health, addiction to sugar and junk food, and an angry disposition. At the age of 15, influenced by a lecture from nutrition expert ER Paul Bragg, he underwent a transformation, leaving behind sugary and unhealthy foods to embark on an exercise routine that lasted nearly eight decades. Dear friends, it matters not what your present physical condition is, it matters not what your age is, if you obey nature's laws, you can be born. His approach to food was meticulous, advocating counting calories for weight management. While many fitness enthusiasts recommended home-cooked meals, Lalan, in contrast, ate out frequently but insisted on knowing the ingredients, often going to the same restaurants with explicit instructions. His daily regimen centered on two meals, with breakfast following a morning workout. I would breakfast up here. I'm very partial to having fresh fruit or fresh fruit juice for breakfast. If you're going to have orange juice or grapefruit juice, be sure you squeeze it and drink it immediately so you don't lose the valuable vitamin C. His diet included hard-boiled eggs, oatmeal with fruit and soy milk, and a cup of broth. Students, you have a hurried lunch, you'll have sandwiches or, or some kind of uh, dessert or some ice cream or something that's just going to add extra pounds on you and give you that soft, flabby condition that you don't want. For lunch, we're going to have a big raw vegetable salad, everything raw on it, lettuce, tomatoes, celery, bell peppers, a uh, few mushrooms perhaps, and cauliflower. Try these things raw, they're wonderful, a little zucchini. And you can have meat or fish or low-calorie cottage cheese. For dinner, he consumed a raw vegetable salad, egg whites, fish, and a mixture of red and white wine. Have a big raw vegetable salad just like we did for lunch, then you can have two or more undercooked vegetables. Be sure and undercook them. Cook them in their own water, own steam. You can have meat or fowl. Then for dessert, have some fresh fruit and yogurt with a little honey on it. Here Lalan, a primarily vegetarian, avoided dairy products, emphasizing lean proteins, raw vegetables, and fruits for a long and active life. Jack Lalan's fitness routine began at 4 a.m., never missing a workout. He advocated revolutionary fitness philosophies, constantly changing his exercise routine every 30 days to prevent muscle adaptation. And there's also many of you students who say, Jack, I know, I know, I know that I need exercise, but, well, it's too boring, it isn't any fun, and I can't do it, or I'm too old. These are all excuses, because I'm going to be here to show you how much fun and how easy exercise, well, I don't like to call it exercise, I like to call it gymnastics, how much fun it really can be, and I want to show you that you can do it. His workout included weightlifting, stretches, and a half-hour pool session with various exercises. Beyond his contributions to health and wellness, Lalan was known for achieving extraordinary feats, setting world records after the ages of 40 and 70. He demonstrated strength and endurance with feats like swimming underwater across the Golden Gate Bridge and completing 1,000 push-ups and chin-ups in 1 hour and 22 minutes. 
Laland's impact extended to fitness equipment, as he advocated using weights and invented prototypes of various exercise machines. She really looks old and out of shape, doesn't she? Now here is Margaret Huey just six weeks later. How do you like that? Believe that or not. She looks about 15 years younger. She has lost 50 pounds and over 50 inches in six weeks. How do you like that? In 1936, he opened the first health studio in Oakland, California, breaking exclusivity in gyms for bodybuilders, weightlifters, and the military. Acknowledged for his pioneering efforts, Lalan received recognition awards and even had a star on Hollywood Boulevard's Walk of Fame. He maintained an active lifestyle until his passing at the age of 96 in 2011, leaving a legacy of health and wellness that continues to inspire. What kind of exercises do you still do every day? I lift weights an hour and a half, spend another half hour in the pool, swimming. Every day? Yeah, I work out seven days a week. That's cool. You don't have to do this. It's an ego thing with me. I just want to see how long I can keep it up. What would you, you say to have average, average people then? What should they do? If, they use, if they'd work out 20, 25, 30 minutes, three or four times a week, that's plenty. But it should be done vigorously. Every 30 days change, do something different. 